Everybody loves their smartphones, but we're starting to learn it's not what's on the outside that matters, but what's on the inside. A lot of chip stocks that are having ties to both the iPhone and Android-related phones are just surging. Let's look at iPhone first. Broadcom, big chip company, great earnings, stocks really surging. You've got other companies like Omnivision, Skyworks. Talk a little bit more about some of these companies, what the stream's talking about with them. Well, one of, some of the greatest fast trends come from stuff that comes inside. They, they call them components. Okay. What's so exciting about this mobile industry is that we can all take apart these phones right now. Yep. It's not like with screwdrivers and welding. These things come apart. And so the average person can pick them apart. What for a CNN viewer, though, needs to understand is these are trends that can change overnight. So unless you really can look forward into Apple's you know, next generation phones, what looks like a great chip stock today will be zero tomorrow. That's great. And yeah, so, just because it's an iPhone 4 doesn't mean it's going to be an iPhone 5. Yeah, so if you're going to invest in component stocks, please understand that these things always look fantastic, and then out of the blue, Apple will announce. So it's very difficult to invest. If you love the iPhone, right. the iPhone is still the best investment for the average investor. Right. So buy Apple instead of Broadcom. If you love the iPhone, you buy Apple. If you feel like you must own a component play, try and pick the most vital component. Uh, SWKS, a stock that I've owned since $12, now right. $23, less replaceable than the other ones. But then again, I always expect at the end of these component runs to get hurt. Gotcha. Now, very good point. So let's move on to the other hot smartphone trend, Android. You've got some other companies, MIPS, Atmel. They're really benefiting from Android being a viable alternative to the iPhone. Are there any plays there that you like, or is it the same thing? You just be wary of them interests me a little more, and, and what interests me a little more is that bigger share of the market, mm -hmm. they're a little further behind, a year or two according to really good mobile experts, experts uh, technologically behind the iPhone mm -hmm. and in software, So, and because the market's so much bigger, the component plays may have longer runs. Okay. Stock Twits, our stream, has had a ball in MIPS. Yes. Um, but you have to understand that these things are very volatile, these mm -hmm. small cap stocks. And again, they're component plays. But I think the Android component plays seem a little more interesting to me right. because of the size and globalness of the market. All right, well, to wrap up, we talk on this show very often about hot tech stocks, momentum tech stocks. One that's a surprising momentum stock right now, IAC, the web conglomerate owned by Barry Diller, controlled by Barry Diller. It owns a strange mix of businesses that don't seem in, at the surface to really gel when you think of Match.com, the dating service, and Ask.com, and the Daily Beast, the, you know, the, the news site. Is, he, uh, is Barry Diller an unrecognized web genius, or would you be wary of IAC at a 52-week high? Well, genius is a tough word. I um, mean, in comparison to me, likely. <laughs> The, the, the word genius, Fox, after all, the TV the, network. The, yeah, so. the genius of it is more in the financial aspect of it. Mm -hmm. What happened over the last 30, 40 years is these conglomerates. Why Warren Buffett doesn't own conglomerates. Warren Buffett wants to own businesses that spit off cash flow. Right. IAC is not for the average investor. If you want to own web companies, own a web company. If IAC is doing well, I can guarantee you that there's 100 web companies that are by themselves doing right. 10 times better as a performance basis than IAC. So congrats to Barry uh, Diller for being wealthy and smart and geniusly financial, but for the average CNN and American investor, stay away from conglomerates. Great point to wrap up with. Be wary of IAC. Might be a little bit of a scary stock going forward. So on that note, have a great weekend and happy Halloween, Howard. You too. <laughs>